Hello, everyone. Dr. Victoria Skirbo here speaking to you from the Seeds of Transformation Healing Center in Wareham, Massachusetts. It's time for Taroscopes. We're going to be doing the Taroscopes for the sign of Leo for the month of December 2022. Uh, that's Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and Leo Rising. So I'm going to be using the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, I love this deck. It's so young and vivacious and just cool. Like these are the people I want to hang out with. <laughs> All right. So we have um, the astrology of December. December is a little bit of like relatively quiet, <laughs> relatively quiet. After a rip roar in year, boy, we could use a relatively quiet. Uh, and of course, it probably isn't. It's just that we're also exhausted after eclipse season that it just it's going to be relatively quiet whether the astrology uh, indicates that or not. Of course, uh, Mars is retrograde still in Gemini. Um, for you, that is your 11th house. So there's some back and forth uh, issues maybe with uh, friends or um, having trouble just connecting because Mars is retrograde there, but it could also be arguments, uh, misunderstandings um, that just need to be, uh, things just need to be ironed out. You just need to like go over what has been said. Um, and if you feel the need to say something, then you say something that needs to be thought out. You can't, there's no jumping to conclusions right now. I don't think, I don't think it's a healthy thing for anybody, but especially uh, around your around your friends around your friends um we have a full moon in the sign of gemini again your your house of friendship uh, with the sun moving through your house of romance so there can be some fun and romance in your um in your month uh more most likely beginning of the month uh for you leo but um we have Venus move into uh, Capricorn on the ninth, so it is in Sag, your house of relationship. But then it goes into uh, into Capricorn, so you need to um, value your health, value your work, maybe have some good work done on you, uh, uh, healing work. I mean, like actual get go get a massage. Is a thought. Leo's love getting their head rubbed their back rubs, they don't like their hair messed. So don't like go up and start rubbing a Leo's head like in the middle of a party because you'll come back with the stump. Um, but they do like to get their back rubs and, and that gets them in a sort of an amorous place. You know, like cats, they like to be rubbed until they don't and then the clothes come out. So be, be aware and be warned. <laughs> I have a Leo ascendant, and if somebody starts jumping my back, I I just let him stay there because my Venus is in Taurus. So I really like getting massages. I really like touch, which is good because I spent thirty years touching people um, as a chiropractor. So it'd be terrible if you were a chiropractor didn't like to touch people or be touched. They're out there. I don't know anything, but they're out there. Okay, so what else? What else? What else? What else? The sun moves into Capricorn. Again, the Capricorn being your house of health. You need to watch your health or just attend to it, right? The end of the year, right? You know how you wait till the end of the year because your deductible has all been done and you can get all those tests and stuff that you need um, at the end of the year. This is something that you want to do. This is something that you want to do. Um, yeah, I think that's what I want to say about it. Mercury does go retrograde at the end of the month. Uh, it's in Capricorn. So again, that house of health, but it's also the house of work and it's the house of pets. So you may have to bring your pet to the vet or something like that just to make sure everything's okay. They start acting weird. Something to take notice of. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to look at the, the cards for Leo. All right, almost feels right. I never count. I just do do it until it feels like it's been done. Okay. 
Okay, that it's been done. <laughs> we start with the Knight of Wands. We start with the Knight of Wands. This is about adventure. This is about going places. This is about traveling. This is about dancing and 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 just carousing and having fun. It's time to have fun, Leo. It's time to have fun. And you invented fun. So uh, if anybody knows that I have fun, it's Leo. So it's time to boogie on down. Boogie on down. We're going to ease on down, ease on down the road. Going to ease on down, ease on down the road. So it looks like you might be traveling. What challenge is it? Is there's a nostalgia for the past? There's going to be some winsome, maybe missing people who are gone or remembering what it was like. You know, it is the holidays when you were a kid, when you used to hang out with your cousins and stuff like that. I mean, that's the best, right? That's the best thing about the holidays is getting to your extended family and your cousins. And we've kind of missed out on that. Maybe that's why you go on the road. Maybe you seek out your family so you can be part of... Um, a family again you know we've been isolated for a long time it's hard it's hard on leo to be isolated underneath it all is the king of wands this is an aries card but of course we could also connect it to leo we see a, a, a lion behind his shoulder there this is leadership and this is being the captain of your own ship this is you know living and dying by your own hand. This is a way of sort of making a living on your creativity, which of course, that's what Leo is all about, creative self-expression. You know, some of the most famous Leos are in that, that venue of, you know, acting and, and, and speaking and even teaching. Teaching is very much a Leo energy, I think, because you have to perform for people. It's not just a matter of, getting up there and talking about stuff that you know about i mean a lot of times that's what you that's what you get but uh, a real good teacher uh, uh will um keep them interested keep them occupied keep them keep them wrapped in, in a subject which is nice you know you get a good teacher like that there's nothing like it it's like the best best ever we have in the past temperance you've done some really profound work on um, the healing that's been necessary. You've done some healing. You have, you have walked the, the path of fire, the, the trial by fire. You've been through it and you've come out of it healed and lighter and brighter and more aligned with who you truly are. In the sky, we have the nine of swords. You're worried about something, you're worried about the future. You're worried about, um, the the darkness in the world um it's it's a reasonable worry but the one thing about the nine of swords is it's it never generally touches the person so it's, it's more about stuff in your head than it is um, um something that's going to maybe personally affect you except for the fact that you're not getting any sleep and and you know those kinds of effects There's a lot of stress in the mental world. And, and you know, I said party and dance and do all that. And, re, and um, you might say, well, there's all this stuff going on in the world. How can I do that? You know, um, it's like you have to do it. It's part of the healing process. It's part of raising the energy um, and the create creativity that's going to be needed um, as we move forward in the world. The world is, a, is an ever-changing place. And we're gonna to have to learn how best to interact with each other and come to understand each other. Um, because, you know, especially with climate change, I think that there's gonna be a lot of places that can no longer be lived in and other places that are gonna be prime places that people wanna live. And so there's gonna be a lot of moving around and we're gonna to have to figure out how to, how to talk to each other, how to relate to each other, how not to try to tell people what to do, but allow them, you know, have a set of rules, of course, but then allow people to be the best selves. Um, 
the immediate future, which is the card for pretty much the month, um, says that you need to find your guiding star. This is a meditation card. They want you to meditate. Um, the answers lie in the realms beyond our conscious, you know, regular conscious waking reality. And so you need to find the time to give yourself the answers and the answers are all there. They're, they're all there and uh, hope springs eternal, uh, focusing on um, what we want to see, how we want to see the future to look. And if you don't have a, a view, a vision of that, maybe that's what you need to meditate on. How are you seen from the outside? The fourth pentacles you're seen as stable. Somebody who may be even a little stingy. Uh, it's possible. I have a Leo ascendant, so I feel I can say that. Even though Leo is like a super generous sign, it may not be that you're stingy. It may not be. It may be that you just have to hold on to what you have for the moment, and that and that may be um, something that people see that's unusual. They're like, "Wow, she's usually always so generous. He's usually always so brilliant, and he's sort of holding back." It's important to do that. You have to hold back a little to yourself. In your domestic situation, we have the Ace of Wands. This is a Leo card, Leo. Leo, the hearth fires are burning. So that party I told you about, have it at your house. Uh, get the bongos out, get people moving around, get the dancing going. We need the energy, we need, need the energy. It also indicates that there'll be a lot of creative uh, ener energy in your home, whether it be decorating for the holidays or just creating things um a very good time for that how you how it's seen um that's your domestic situation hopes and fears a new a new path a new path and uh it's it's what you want and it's what you fear and that that you know the unknown is always a fearful place even if you like want to see it. Ooh, what's over the next corner you still have that knot in your stomach it's normal we have as an outcome, the King of Swords. So a judgment may be made here um, with wisdom, with wisdom. You may need to make a judgment with wisdom. You may have to do some legal thing. Um, and it may, be, it may be beneficial for you to talk to somebody uh, who knows about what you are facing, whether whatever situation it is. Is it a legal matter? Is it a financial matter? Is it make sure you go to somebody who knows uh, what they're, what they're talking about. We have the four of wands, just celebration. So more partying. <laughs> There's the party again. The nine of cups, right? That's celebratory. There's a lot of celebration here. And the magician. That's, I like that. I like that. I feel like the celebrations are going to inspire you. The celebrations somehow are going to inspire you. That's what you need to do. You need to bring back those feelings that made you feel like your heart was um, warm and cozy and on fire with either creativity or love for your family or whatever it is, because the outside world, um, it, it, it's, it's, there's other people out there that are in this place and your fire will help to warm them even if you don't invite them to the party because you don't know where they live, it's still the energy that you create sort of does that, um, that wave thing, right? And it brings warmth everywhere. So it's nothing is, I, nothing is done in isolation, really. Even if you do it all by yourself in your room, the energy still, you can't do anything with the energy, but allow it to flow, right? Underneath it all, we have the five of pentacles. This might be why you're People are saying you're not as generous. Maybe you're in a in a situation where um, you're kind of like at the edge of either going over or going up, right? Like that place where you decide how you have to or what you have to do, or or um, in order to um, succeed or let go, and, and in a way that is that you're you're going down, which I wouldn't suggest. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is work that you've done in the past. 
you've actually, you may feel like you're at the bottom, but you've actually planted a lot of seeds and those seeds are going to uh, manifest themselves and they are gonna grow. And then we have the emperor, which is about dominion. So it looks like, even though you may not see, feel that all that um, abundance, as far as if you look in your bank account and you're looking and you're like, this, it's like, uh-oh, right? Um, that's not the truth of it. The truth of it is that you've done the work and you're just waiting for it to come. You're waiting for the, um, the harvest so that you can reap it. And then we have the emperor, which is really, it's sort of like uh, the king of wands and the emperor are a similar energy. It's just that the emperor is a little bit more refined, right? And a little bit more refined. The king is still a little bit uh, maybe rough around the edges, especially the king of wands. But when you get to the emperor, um, yeah, it's good cards, good cards for dominion, good cards for, for being the captain of your own ship. Just make sure there are no leaks, you'll be fine. And maybe that's what you need this guy for. Just make sure there are no leaks in my ship. So when I take, when I go, when I go sailing off into the future, um, you know, everything will be, what do they say? Ship shape, right? Ship shape. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like and subscribe if you would. Um, if you would like to donate, there's a, a button down below. I'm not asking just if in case you're inspired to do it. I'm not going to stop you. I'll give you, an, I'll give you a way to do it. Let's put it that way. If you'd like to become a patron, um, you can. Um, there's a link for my Patreon page. Uh, I'm putting more and more stuff on it now. I'm still, still the majority of my work is on YouTube, but I'm trying to build a, uh, a good uh, source material on my Patreon. So anybody who wants to like learn about how I read cards or how I work with the Kabbalah and how I work with people's charts, all that is on Patreon, as well as YouTube, as well as YouTube. So uh, it's just hard to find on YouTube. Right, it's not. It's it's hard to organize that stuff, but I think that's probably my problem and not yours. So have a wonderful holiday season. Take care of yourself. Very important. Have fun. Make sure you have fun. I know it's bad out there, but just because other people are suffering, it's like you owe them that you don't, in a way, um, because we have to raise the energy. And if you have them in your heart, they feel the joy on some, it is the thing, we don't know, we don't know. And if you can, you know, actually help people financially at this time, maybe that's why you're not giving gifts to people who have, maybe it's time to give to get, give your gifts to the people who don't have anything and who need, right? That might be, a, a, and I think, you know, I honestly think that there's gonna be more and more of that anyway in the future because People have what they have and they have what they need. And if you're living your best life and if you're being your authentic self and if you're following your own heart, you don't need all the stuff that they say you need to feel good. You just feel good. You just feel good. And then every now and again, you get something that makes you feel even better. And that's good. All right, everyone, have a wonderful uh, month. See you next year. At the end of this month, I'm going to be doing a little special thing for my, uh, for my watchers, um, a little gift for 2023. So I'm, like a new thing that I'm doing. So I'm not going to tell you what it is because then, well, I'm not going to tell you. It's a surprise. All right, guys, take care, everyone. Namaste. Love you.